Hey you guys, it's Kaylin back with another video and today we are going to get into Instant Influencer episode three. But first let me tell you, I have phoned a few friends and to be more specific, we have got the baddest perra, we've got the baddest bitch, we've got dragons and sisters and more gurus all from episode three of Instant Influencer. If you guys are new to my channel, you don't know about the show, I am on season one of James Charles's show, Instant Influencer. So that's what we're gonna be diving into today. Let's just start. I don't know where we're gonna go with this because Someone threw me a major curveball. The devil's upon them, let me tell you that. So if you guys haven't already seen episode three, I did my collab video with Louis Castro, um, the baddest perra of all time. So sweet, I love him so much. And so I really wanted Louis to go first in this. And so I let him pick my primer and I let him pick my foundation. And he said he really loved the Oil and Shine Control by Smashbox. And he also said he really loved this one. This is the full coverage 24 hour foundation by Smashbox as well, um, which I'm really excited to dive into because I have not tried this, but I am a full coverage whore. I love it so much. But let's get into episode three of Instant Influencer. So it started with the apology video challenge. Oh my God, did they like reformulate this? Why does this feel like so much silkier than it used to be? Wow, okay, Louis, I see you. Love this already. Um, but so James walked in, they cut some of it out, but James goes, David, it's my show. And we're like, oh shoot, James is not feeling the vibe with David today. And David is one of the top executive producers. If not, I think he is the executive producer. Like looks so annoyed and so pissed off. And we were like literally shaking. I remember Ashley was like, if I close my eyes and I just pretend like this isn't happening, I'll disappear. I was like looking at Benny and Gabe and Ash and I'm like, did, did you guys do something? I, I know I'm not involved. And Benny like looks at me and Benny and I look at each other like, oh my God, like what is happening? Like, what did we do? But you know what? The night before we had pizza in Indigo's room. And so we were like, oh my God, maybe that was it. Because I don't know, we just thought like, maybe we weren't supposed to be together. I was like, literally, season one is ending right now. We're not getting a season two. Oh my God, this is like so scary. I was freaking petrified. It was so dramatic, so bad. And then James goes, and scene. And I was literally like, get him his Oscar. Where are his nominations? I need to see him sitting front row at the Oscars next year. I just literally could not, I was terrified. Um, and so then he tells us we are getting into the apology videos. So, okay, let's get into foundation as we get into the apology videos. As I already said, we're using the Smashbox Studio Fix full coverage that Louis recommended. He said he loves this. He also said he loves the Maybelline 24 hour stay foundation. And I do have that, but I wanted to try this one cause I've never tried it before. So um, let's use this one. And I picked my color online and it might be a little too, bright not necessarily wrong shade but too bright we'll find out it's so hard to pick your shade online um oh no it's fine whatever james tells us we're gonna do apology videos and for me this was a little bit nerve-wracking because i i didn't want to like oh no oh honey she's white okay it's, it's always easier to darken than it is to oh no now you could have taken it one of two ways. You could have gone the lighthearted way, which probably is a better call <laughs> given that you only have 15 minutes. And I'm like a little nervous because I feel like apologies are something that, you know, you want to take very seriously. And so I wanted to take time and really think about how I would feel in that moment. And like, if that was really my apology that I really had to do, how would I really feel? What are things that I would truly genuinely say and really mean? And so what I did was I wanted to acknowledge people and acknowledge how people were feeling, which they probably would have felt that I was greedy or which is what I said in my video. And then I wanted to take responsibility and come up with a solution and a way that I would then get over it. I had the whole script written out and James actually read it. Um, it just sucks I didn't finish it in time, but I mean, I am glad that I did take it seriously because I think that an apology video is something that isn't a joke. Although that doesn't mean when I'm sharing my opinion on how I felt about the challenge that I'm saying that like Benny did wrong or that anybody else did wrong in the challenge because I felt like everyone had their own interpretation. Really quickly, I wanna pause. Louis, this foundation is beautiful. Um, if only it was my shade, life would be great, but this, foundation the finish everything is stunning um a new full coverage foundation i can approve of it feels like velvet on your skin like it feels very skin like which i really like and i wasn't expecting from smashbox so thank you for that recommendation really quickly we're going to jump into the next step and then we'll keep talking we have the best bitch bretman rock he has recommended the makeup forever um ultra hd 
concealer. He said that he also really likes hula bronzer. So we'll be using a little bit of hula bronzer today, um, but I'm going to go in with this. Um, but when I'm sharing my thought on the whole apology video challenge, that's not me like throwing shade at anybody else who like had a different interpretation. Um, I always believe that like, just because I have a thought or whatever, it doesn't make my thought better than the next person's. I'm also not saying that I should have won or that I'm bitter about it because you guys, I didn't even finish my video. I definitely did not deserve to win. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, it doesn't mean that I think that Benny's was bad or his was wrong. I think he saw the humor in it and he wanted to have fun with it. That went way over my head and you know, neither of us, none of us were in the wrong. We were all just like having different interpretations of how the challenge was, not necessarily how it is in real life. So, but then the challenge ends, y'all saw, I didn't finish my video. Homegirl just like left the building. We've got Hula Light because that is what mixes with my skin tone the best. Um, and so I'm going to use a little bit of that to hopefully warm up this ghastly face. <laughs> Sorry for the first like 10 minutes of uh, ghastliness. But then, so James comes in and he's like, this challenge was supposed to be like totally funny. Like this was supposed to be like a joke. These were just like, you know, silly things to apologize for, like apologizing for face tuning your photos. Like, if you want to face in your photo, go ahead, girl. And so when James was like, oh yeah, this was supposed to be a funny challenge, like a chill, like, you know, kind of take a break from all the seriousness. I was like, well, dang, I kind of missed the mark on that one, didn't I? <laughs> you guys didn't see everybody's videos, but I personally thought that Gabe had the best video. Um, you guys didn't see it all, but Gabe's was, at first he was crying, but then he got into like, this serious, like genuine apology. We all went from like laughing at the video to like being like, oh, oh, oh. Um, I thought Benny's was fun. I think Benny won because Benny like was able to see that it was not a serious challenge. And I didn't even finish because I thought it was a very serious challenge, but it's okay. This is, this is warming it up. This is looking better, right guys? Let's pause for a hot second and get into a blush because we had a very special drag and go very far out of her way to make sure that I got this overnighted. Nikita, I love you. Thank you so much. Nikita literally sent this, overnighted it, saved this entire video. So Nikita, this one's for you. Thank you. I have never used the face palette um, by Dragon Beauty. So I'm so excited to try it. She wants us to go in with the BB Girl blush. This is a super pretty matte blush, which I'm super excited about. It's just like this really nice, soft, kind of like classic flush to the skin. Oh my God. This is so pretty. Oh my God. It gives me like Kylie Jenner pink blush vibes. And it's like nice and matte and like blends in the skin really nicely. All right, do we got some sisters in the building? Because this next one has to do with the one and only King James Charles. James obviously recommended his new mini palette. Um, not so new anymore, it's been out for months, but I love my mini palette as you can see. James, don't come for me. He's probably gonna DM me and be like, girl, what happened to your palette? It's been well loved, okay, baby? It's been well loved. I'm gonna go in with this dark purple shade and start doing Oh God, line. Okay, so I think I know what direction I'm gonna go in. So let's start talking about the second half of episode three. You guys, freaking when he said he had some special guests coming in, I was like, I was dying. I was like, please God, you guys could see it on my face. I was so excited, like who who's walking through those doors? Like, and I literally just, this is what I said. I literally go, because without turtles, we wouldn't have turtles. Aha! So Benny, he got to pick um, who each person was with and truly you could not go wrong with anyone. Um, and I remember I looked over at Benny and I'm just like, oh my God, what call is he gonna make? What call is he gonna make? I have no idea what he's gonna do. So how it actually went behind the scenes, cause I feel like they edit the order of things differently in the show. Um, so Benny picked Bretman and then um, Benny goes, okay. And then Nikita with Ashley and um, Nikita, since I was next in line, Nikita like walks up to me and gives me, gives me a hug. And I'm just like, I don't even like say anything. I don't tell her I'm not Ashley. I don't know. In my mind, I thought Nikita was giving everybody a hug. I don't know. I, she thought I was Ashley, but, but then, so Nikita was with Ashley and then um, Louie got put with me and then Nima got put with Gabriel and I was so excited to be with Louie because he just like reminds me of my best friends. And so I thought that like him and I would just vibe really, really well together. And honestly, I think um, Louie and I had the best chemistry out of everyone. 
And uh, that's actually something that the judges said, but they didn't put in. Um, Louie and I, it was like the second we got together, it was like we had known each other for years, which was really, really cool. Um, and you just don't know, like when you meet someone that, you know, you watch on YouTube, cause I watch Louie and I really love him, but you just don't know when you meet someone, if they're going to like live up to that connection that you feel like you might have with them. So it was really cool that Louie and I just clicked so well. So I'm kind of doing like a structured shadow with then kind of like a patchy kind of color. I don't know. I was just, I don't know. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of my first look that I had on the show. So let's just go with that. So in that episode, they kind of make it look like Louie and I were like so serious the entire time. And it's funny because like we were really just like vibing, having like the best time, just like hanging out. And it really did feel like we had known each other for years, which was really, really cool. Now, the thing when it comes to editing with a different person, I think that was really difficult because it's like you want that other person's opinion and you don't want to like cut too much of them out. Um, a lot of people were saying that I should have sacrificed more of Louis's personality to put mine in there. But I think when you're working on a collab with someone um, and they're on your channel, you do want to share a lot of them um, because they are a guest on your channel. And I, I think maybe I should have sacrificed a little bit more for my personality because I just like didn't get it all in there, which really kind of sucked because I did have a lot of personality in that video and I just w went on a cutting spree. Like we had like seven minutes left on the clock and we still had like a seven minute long video. And so Louie and I were like, cut, 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 literally cutting everything. Bye, goodbye, bye. So I just went off camera and finished this eye and I love this. It reminds me of pottery <laughs> from my hometown, but I really, really like it. So let's move on to the next guru that we have in the lineup. So given that we're talking about episode three, you're not expecting this next guru who is throwing me a major curveball. So I'm like, why did I ask you? Indigo to hell. He is working with the devil to um, make me use this blue mascara. No, I'm just kidding. Love Indigo so much. He is one of my favorite people in the entire world, um, but he wanted me to use the ColourPop mascara that I actually used in episode one. Um, and I literally responded to him and I was like, why do you hate me? Um, but this is fun. I've never used a colored mascara. Well, not since I was like 15 or unless it's Halloween, but I've never used a colored mascara for like a serious look. Oh God damn, that is blue. He literally thought it was so funny giving me the blue mascara. He just loved it, loved it. Um, anyways, so moving on to the judging portion of episode three. You guys, I was really nervous because pulled my famous move and didn't see the video before. Okay, this blue mascara pairs really well with this eye. This is why I love you because you think of things I don't. You devilish little. Um, but yeah, going on to the judging portion, Louie and I were scared, but Louie was so sweet and he's like, don't even worry. Like he was just like totally making me feel so much better. And we were just like, whatever happens, happens. Like who cares? And um, my video at the very end, I accidentally left it apart where I was like doing B-roll, which if you don't know what B-roll is, B-roll is like when you are like looking at the camera and you're like, oh, oh. And there it like zooms in, zooms out. It does everything and you're like, oh, sauce. The sauce is here. Um, so that's what I was doing. And I was like, oh my God, you you actually look so hot in this. So like, <laughs> let me zoom in on your face, blah, blah, blah. And that was all in the video. And it was funny because James was like, which they didn't put this in the show, probably because they wanted it to look like so much more dramatic than it was. But James was like, it actually kind of works. And I was like, well, I am going to take it. Thank you. But yeah, so Louie and I just laughed it off and just had like a good time. We had a great day, so it didn't even matter. But did you guys see that Louie and I matched? He was wearing like a diamond jacket. I was wearing a diamond jacket. Well, they're, they're all rhinestones. But Louie and I like looked like a cute ice skating couple. What are the odds? I mean, come on. You know when you meet a friend and you just like feel like you've known each other for years and you just immediately love them and feel comfortable around them and it's like a match made in heaven. That's how it was for Louie and I. So once all this madness that is happening is all done and settled, um, Louie and I will get together and we will do a collab video that is real that we can share with you guys. Um, so if you guys have anything that you specifically wanna see from us together, let me know in the comments. Let's get on to the next portion of this, which is these Nike 
lips that we've got going. Obviously, we had to ask Lipstick Nick, Director of Global Artistry for the one and only Morphe. Morphe. Um, and so we asked Lipstick Nick what she thought for lips and she said she wanted Stripped Down by MAC to line the lips. She wanted I'm Nude by Morphe to be the pop, the color, and then a clear gloss. Sorry, there's thunder going on outside. Um, but here's the deal. I'm so sorry, Lipstick Nick. I'm so sorry, Nicole. I didn't have I'm Nude and it was sold out at every single Ulta. I could not find it to save my life. So I'm going to substitute it with the thing that I find that is the closest. Uh, the thing that I found that was the closest was Peachy by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I couldn't find anything else. I'm nude. It has kind of like a peachy undertone to it. So I thought that this could be a substitute. Um, hopefully I can get my hands on the I'm nude. I think it's part of the Jeffree Star Morphe collection. But let's start off with a little bit of Strip Down by MAC. I love MAC lip liners, so. Thank you, Lipstick Nick, for sending one my way. Um, they are so good. They work so well. I also really love KKW ones. I'm gonna do this really quickly. I can't line my lips and talk at the same time, so I'm just gonna do this real, real quick, and I'll be right back. I think that this is a little warmer than the color that she recommended, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Stripped by Anastasia to cool it down to make it look a little bit more like the I'm Nude shade. Yeah, that, that looks better, I think. I really love seeing people like Lipstick Nick and Norvina being judges on the show because I personally would love to have something of my own one day. So to get advice and thoughts and to kind of see the inner working of their brain and how they think of things um, is so invaluable and like you can't put a price tag on that. But also they kind of become your client or your boss or whatever you want to call it. You are a partner with the brands. You are not above them. You are not below them. You become a partner when you are an influencer and you help them create content. So like if they have a launch for a lip gloss um, and they reach out to me and say that like, this is Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath wants to work with me and I just adore Pat McGrath so much. So I'm like, hell yeah. Um, so then I would help them create content based on the things that they are looking for. It might be just like Instagram or whatever, they become your client, they become your partner. And so it's really important to be able to be professional and to be able to work with brands. It's very, very, very key. This job isn't just about, you know, being cute on camera and all of that. So it's really important um, to hear certain things from Norvina and from Lipstick Nick because their opinions are so invaluable, so priceless. Speaking of Norvina, Norvina is also in this video and she recommended the dewy set because she said she loves a really super dewy um, glow. And I love a dewy set. I am having thunder go off above my head. And I just douse myself. This thing has a pretty strong, um, Pusher, you know what I'm saying. I want my collarbones and my neck to glow like Kim K at Met Gala 2019, 2019 or 2018. Oh, the most beautiful look I've ever seen at the Met Gala. The sauce, do you got the sauce? Cause the sauce is all over me and I'm loving it. I always say that if you're new to my channel, I always say what's the sauce. The sauce is like sass. It's like confidence and sexiness. And do you got the sauce? It's like fun. It's a vibe. That's what I got. That's what I got. That's the source right there. Really quickly, let's talk about the ending of episode three. Um, I wasn't as surprised that Gabe went home in that episode because he just didn't have the audio in his video. Although, with that being said, he didn't have audio in his video, but did you guys see how beautiful that look was that he did on Nima? It was one of the best looks I have ever seen in makeup, it's so beautiful. He's so talented, it's stupid. Like he's so talented and he's so, so sweet. So if you guys don't follow him, if you don't, if you haven't like checked up on him, you guys should. He is a one of a kind, amazing human being. Love him so much. There is no, sorry, there's squirrels playing in my tree. He is like the most genuine human being that I have ever met in my entire life, has such a kind soul. So if you guys have time, you guys should check him out. So also I got emotional and let me tell you guys, I did not know that cameras were on me at that time. I thought that cameras stopped rolling because normally <laughs> when we are in that room after we're told we make it through, the camera, it just like doesn't matter. Producers are like, save your emotion for when you go out, like just save your emotion for when you walk into the big workroom. Um, and so I didn't think that 
me crying was going to be on the show. I definitely didn't think cameras were like filming at that time. I was really just overwhelmed and I couldn't believe that I had made it so far. And the fact that I was like in the finale when like my goal was like make it past night one, make it past night one. 2019 was a really tough year. And I just like, it was so discouraging. And I never had that like validation of, oh, you're a good artist. I wasn't like catching on. My content wasn't going anywhere. It was just like, the most discouraging thing ever, which I'm sure if you guys are creators, you understand what that feels like. It's very discouraging. Everyone always says, you're gonna get nowhere doing brown smoky eyes. You're never gonna get anywhere doing this. You're never gonna get anywhere doing that. But it's like, but that's what I like. That's like my vibe. I love that. I love grungy stuff. And so I just think that like, I didn't think that I was it. But here's the deal. We got Mario Dedovanovic. We've got Nikki Makeup. We've got Pat McGrath, who are all really dark, grungy artists and very natural artists, and they are so incredible and so amazing. So I think um, your girl is done second guessing herself. I am confident, please understand that. Um, but yeah, I just, I was really overwhelmed, really grateful. But it was like after that feeling of feeling super, super grateful for like making it to the finale and like making it this far, I was like, girl, you have second guessed yourself every step of the way. You haven't trusted yourself as an artist. You've made mistakes because you haven't trusted yourself. You've been insecure about your artistry. It's like, you are one of the six. And this is something that I was telling everybody else. Everybody else was feeling the same way, maybe not showing it as much, but I kept saying like, you are one of the six. And it's like, I wasn't telling myself that. But yeah, I was really just like overwhelmed with joy and gratefulness and um, realizing that I'm really dope, you know? Um, I think I just needed someone who's an artist to believe in me so I could like trust their opinion, you know? And then for James to do that and to believe in me so deeply that like I didn't even believe in myself and he just like kind of picked me up and was like, girl, let's freaking go, you're amazing. It was, it's an experience that I think I needed, but I know that a lot of people don't get. Um, so if you are an artist, if you are doubting yourself, if you struggle with like an insecurity in your work or whatever, like pick yourself up, girl, because no one is gonna do it for you. James couldn't do it for me. I mean, I was still insecure until like episode two or three. And so like, you just like really need to like sit down and think about all the things that make you great and understand that like you're the only you that there is. And I know that's so cheesy and I'm not trying to get preachy and get up on a high horse right here, but like, just please know that like, there's only one you and that is what you bring to the table. You can't like sit like me and be like, oh, but Indigo does like huge, incredible face paintings and Ashley's so precise and Benny plays with color and like sit and be like, but I'm none of those things. Y'all, it doesn't matter what they do. It matters what you do. So um, be confident in yourself. I'll get off my high horse. I'm sorry. Um, I love you guys. And I just wanted to share that with you guys because I feel like there's no sense in doubting yourself. Like you have no idea how special you are. So please pick yourself up, dust yourself off and get moving onto whatever it is that you need to do. Motivational speech is done. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm sorry. I feel gross. We're like giving you guys so much annoying advice, but I just had to because it's very necessary for yourself. Anyways, I love you guys so much. There is lots of thunder and lots of hail that is about to come right back. So I'm going to get out of here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and thank you to everyone who participated in my beauty gurus do my makeup and the recap for episode three. Everyone who helped me pick out this makeup is going to be linked down below if you don't already know them, which I'm sure you all do, but I'm going to link them all down below so that you guys can find them. And I love you guys. And until next time, yeah. Have a good day. Bye.